Bud. First came the sickening sound of the sirens, warning of incoming fire. Then the rocket struck the British military hospital. The doctors and nurses hit the ground and everything went black. Rooms filled with smoke. All they could do was drag out the casualties, their colleagues among them, reassure the patients and carry on treating them. What else could they do, they said. That rocket was one of hundreds that rained down on the base every month over the summer as British troops endured one of the most deadly periods of violence since the start of the war in 2003. Night after night they fought their way into Basra. Sometimes it took a thousand soldiers just to get through to their base in the centre of the city. The stories the soldiers tell are of firefights that lasted for hours, pinned down by snipers and pummeled by rocket teams, of the struggle to get injured colleagues out of the danger zone and to recover the bodies of those killed. It could not go on. The soldiers were behaving like Robocop and innocent people were getting hurt, one of Britain's most senior commanders told the Sunday Telegraph last week. At the highest level, a decision was taken to cut a deal with the Shia militias which dominate Basra. So the soldiers pulled back into the one remaining British base in Iraq. Now they make the occasional foray out of the gates to patrol around the airport or run up to the Iranian border to see if they can stop the flood of weapons pouring across. They train the Iraqi army and occasionally show their faces around the further reaches of the province. But they stay away from areas where there are insurgents and they never go into Basra. Instead, it is the nascent Iraqi army that has taken over responsibility for security. Early reports are not encouraging. Last week, large parts of the city were riven by militia fighting, and although some of the Iraqi troops show promise, they are far too few in number to impose themselves on the city. For now, British troops can do little but keep in with the locals. Britain is due to formally hand over control of its last province in Iraq in December, and by the fifth anniversary of the start of the war next March, it plans to have a token presence in the country of just two and a half thousand soldiers. For Britain, in southern Iraq, the war is almost over. This is Gethin Chamberlain for the Sunday Telegraph in southern Iraq.